Hi, Morgan Rumit here. I'm a stay-at-home mom of three boys ages five and under, and I run a business from home. And today I wanna share with you on the topic of dealing with a hormone imbalance. A lot of times when you're dealing with a hormone imbalance or just issues with your hormones, it may not necessarily be an imbalance. You're gonna feel very emotional. You might be struggling with feeling stressed, tired, depressed, and anxious. You might even feel like a crazy person. And I can definitely relate because this is something that I went through in my own personal life. So this topic is very near and dear to my heart. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive in. Okay, so I've already alluded to the fact that I've struggled in my own life with my hormones. And uh, it was it was kind of a dark journey for me. Um, you know, just a little backstory here. I, I was raised in church, so I'm a Christian and definitely proud to be one. Um, but growing up in the Christian community, I, I just felt ashamed over the fact that I was struggling with feeling down. And it pretty much kicked in when I was a teenager, I, I like to say pretty much when I hit puberty, everything just went haywire. Uh, I remember being such a happy child. And then I became a teenager and I, I definitely tried to walk in the joy of the Lord. Um, but I also felt down and struggled with dark thoughts and, and it was a battle. There definitely was a spiritual element to some of that battle that I went through as a teenager. Um, but I didn't quite realize how much my physical health was also affecting my hormones. So I'm going to touch a little bit on both today. And uh, if this is something that you're struggling with, I just want to encourage you to listen until the end because I'm going to share um, some solutions with you that I just feel will really, really help you and benefit you. Okay, so on the physical health front, um, something I didn't realize was how much gut health affects your hormones. And one of those hormones is insulin. So when you can balance out your insulin levels as well, um, I've heard it said that insulin is one of your master hormones. And so when your insulin is regulated, your other hormones can also regulate themselves. Um, I'm not a scientist, so I can't fully verify that that's exactly how it works. But I think the main idea is that when you target your insulin, you will help, and, and your gut health, it will help your body to really balance itself overall. If you're curious how hormones are affected by gut health, I would encourage you literally just do a Google search and type in gut health and hormones and see what comes up. You're gonna find that 90% um, of your body's serotonin is produced in the gut and that's your happy feeling. So if you're struggling with feeling down and you're not feeling very happy, you might literally be dealing with a gut health issue and that is such an easy fix. There are healthier foods that you could be eating to help improve your gut health and then there are natural supplements and I say natural, like get an all natural supplement that you could take. You don't have to always take medication for your gut health. You could take a natural supplement that could work in conjunction with medications that you might already be taking. Take it to a pharmacist, double check it. Um, but as you start to heal your gut, you're going to see those hormone levels begin to regulate and you're going to feel more stable as a person. That is something that I personally experienced when I started targeting my gut health. Now, going a little bit deeper into dealing with the hormone imbalance and the battles that you might be facing, I want to touch a little bit on your mindset. In the Christian world, we use this term called renew the mind, and uh, it's taken from a scripture in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, which says, do not be conformed to this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. And that's exactly what renewing the mind is, is changing the thoughts that you are thinking. Now there's a lot of science behind how your thoughts also affect your physical health. But right now, let's just talk about even what changing your thoughts would do for your mental and emotional health. If you are constantly thinking negative thoughts or doubting yourself or just feeding into insecurities and fears in your life, well, that's what you're filling yourself up with. That's what you're filling your head with. And that's what you're going to keep seeing in life. You see, we have this tendency as human beings to always prove ourselves right. So we're always going to try to look for the things that we really believe about ourselves or about our lives. If we feel like we're never going to amount to anything, we're going to 
every day look for evidence subconsciously that proves us right that we will never amount to anything. And that's just not the truth. So you need to begin, and I say you need to, but we all need to do this. We need to begin to renew our minds and change the thoughts that we are thinking. Do you speak like positive, life-giving affirmations over your life? Do you? This is something that I really struggled with in my own life. And um, it felt selfish like to say, I am an energetic person. I am intentional. I am, you know... Uh, fun to be around or, you know, whatever you're going to speak over your life. Uh, I really struggled with that concept because I don't always want it to just be about me. But what I've also found is that probably a large majority of my day, I'm actually thinking about how insufficient and inadequate, did I say that right? Inadequate that I am. And so if I have no problem thinking those thoughts about myself because I don't even realize that I'm doing it, then it would be okay for me to take five to 10 minutes to just be intentional about what I'm speaking about myself. And the thing is, is that um, when you begin to say those things out loud, it's retraining your brain and it's creating new neural pathways so that you don't just immediately default to downing yourself, but you begin to speak life over yourself. So renewing the mind and changing what you're thinking about really goes a long ways when dealing with some of the emotions that you have going on in your life if you have a hormone imbalance. Okay, so we've talked about hitting it up on a physical front. And I probably should have added in the physical category that, of course, eating healthy, working out, getting your sleep, that's all going to come into play too with a hormone imbalance. Um, I just kind of, I guess, assumed that that was a given, but, but maybe that's not always common knowledge for everyone. So definitely in addition to making sure you're getting the right nutrients and supplementing in things to help with your gut health, you want to work on um, your sleep and exercising to help relieve some of that stress that you might be feeling with your hormone imbalance. Um, but anyway, so we've talked about it on a physical front and we've talked about it on a mental health front by just watching what you're saying about yourself to yourself. But now I want to just go ahead and touch on dealing with the hormone imbalance, even on a spiritual level, because, you know, there are physical aspects to it. There are mental health aspects to it. But the reality is, is that there is a, a real battle in the spiritual realm that's also happening. And this isn't something that you need to just be like, oh, you know, like totally freaked out about, but it's, it's real. You have a real enemy against you that's trying to um, pull you into darkness. And I just want to encourage you that Jesus is the light of the world. And I want to encourage you to turn over to him and give your life to him. And I, I, there's so much I would love to share in this moment. But the truth is, is that there's a lot of darkness out there. And if you feel like you are dealing with dark thoughts and depression, and if you've even gotten to this place that you're just wondering, should I even keep living? Um, that is a spiritual battle that, if I'm being honest, I myself even went through and I was raised in church, but I had a real enemy that was trying to, uh, to go after me and take me out. And that's what I want to just say to you is that there is an enemy of your soul who does not want you to live life to its fullness and, and living life to uh, your fullest potential would really be living for the Lord. And the enemy doesn't want that. And so he, he tries to throw a bunch of lies at you. And, and they really kind of mask themselves as your own thoughts sometimes. And that's just not true. Not every single thought that comes to your mind is actually your own thought. Sometimes it is an outside force that is trying to throw a dark depression type of thought at you. And so um, if you've been dealing with thoughts of like, oh, I'm just done. I'm just going to take my own life. Um, that's, that's a lie from the pit of hell. I'm just going to say that. And, um, and this was something that I really was afraid of. I can't believe I'm opening up about this on a public platform right now, but, but yeah, I, I battled with that. And, and the way that I overcame it was somebody prayed with me and, um, and the Lord 
gave me victory, but then it was something I had to walk out every single day in renewing my mind. So if you're struggling, I want to encourage you to, to ask Jesus to set you free because he will and invite him to become the savior of your life and the Lord of your life. It's one thing to just say, Jesus, be my savior. It's another thing to say, Jesus, be my Lord. And I'm going to serve you for the rest of my life. Um, and it's really a joy filled life when you experience the freedom that he gives. And it's a freedom that he did give me. And I'm so thankful. And it's something I want to unleash to all the others that I can um, who are also struggling in the same areas that I was struggling in. So if that is you and you are feeling like, okay, Morgan, I, I do need to target my physical health and I need to target my mental health, but I know that I also need a savior. Then I want to encourage you to reach out because I'm happy to share a little bit more and I can pray with you. So I just wanted to share that because Jesus really is the ultimate answer. And I'm never going to shy away from saying that he loves you and he has a plan for you. And I want to see you thrive. But even more than I want to see you thrive in your life, he wants to see you thrive because Jesus loves you. Okay. Well, I hope that you found some value in this video today. I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. If you are really serious about getting healthier and working on your mindset, then I want to invite you to come on over to my Facebook community for moms. Over there, you will find support and encouragement along the way as you travel along this journey of motherhood and work towards becoming a healthier and happier version of you. So yeah, I'll, I'll leave that as it is. I'll put the link below so that you won't miss it. And until the next time, you take care. Bye for now.